Hey, hello everybody, and welcome to our Saturday Hour of Power Fun Time. So, this is the first one, obviously. Um, this is another thing I'm considering doing, a once a week, hour long, here's a game. Um, I don't really have anything planned for these other than just trying to play games that I really enjoy from my past. And uh, as you can probably already tell from the title, we got ourselves another GameCube game. And it's Pikmin. Uh, this is a game that I remember from my childhood. It was adorable. It's cute. It's fun. It's it's very different. I don't know how to describe it other than it's just, it's something all in its own. And it's just, I'm excited to play this game. Like, it, it has been an incredibly long time since I've played this game. And here we're gonna get the story of Olimar. Who's just minding his own business, sailing across the skies. And even though he has this giant cockpit, and he's basically flying directly into this, he doesn't see it. I, I don't understand it. I truly don't understand how he didn't see that. And then he crashes onto a planet that looks suspiciously like Earth. It's cute. It's adorable. The impact site. Uh, I'll try not to speak too much about the story, the gameplay, all that stuff until we actually get into it. And I want the game to explain itself a little bit before I explain it. <laughs> my name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out. I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone, and I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate the planet's environment it contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no. Better not think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. So, essentially, we've got 30 days to figure out what we want to do. A strange thing has appeared before me. I barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. I'm gonna just do things a little ahead of time. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of the wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. Bop. Say hello to our adorable little Pikmin. Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature. Not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive. Yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A. I will call it to my side with B. Perhaps it will react to C and X as well. The following controls appear to allow me several viewpoints. Rotate camera. Zoom in and out. Change angle. I must survive. I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. So the C stick 
basically I can control exactly where they are. Pressing X dismisses them. Obviously, A throws, B calls. This is zoom. So what we want to do right now is grow our Pikmin army. So putting food in the onion... Astonishing! The onion has so more seeds! A small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems, need, seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. So, some things to always keep in mind, which we'll get to later, but as you can see, we get two for every single one, um, food pellet. What does he do? Oh, it's overhead. So our goal for today, as you can see, is to grab that engine over there. And to do that, we need to push this. So the numbers on everything that you see, like, that pellet has a 5. That actually denotes the weight or the amount of Pikmin you need in order to carry it. That has a 10 on it. We need 10 Pikmin. And the more Pikmin you have on something, the faster they'll be able to move things. So... This game plays a lot with the whole uh, sizing of things. So if something has a larger size, you know, like, see, that has, you can put up to double the amount of Pikmin on something. So that has a one on it, so you can have up to two Pikmin on that. That has a 10 on it, you can have up to 20 Pikmin on it. And obviously the more Pikmin you have on something, the faster it moves. So. So we're not going for any kind of a speed prize or anything, but uh, one thing to keep in mind after this first day is uh, you have a day-night cycle. The Pikmin are as scary as his children. They fought in groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. The glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Press and press A to pick Sprouse. Press A to grab Pikmin. Release to throw. Press B to call them. X to dismiss. Use the C to command and control the group. L, R, and Z control Brian's perspective. I shall record all this in my computer. I can press Y to access the computer. We're not going to approach that yet. Let's see, get two on that. Get two on that. And get eight on that. So basically, what we're going to do in this game is amass an army. <laughs> a Pikmin army. Army of our cute, adorable little things. <laughs> See, anything else for us to grab here, or is that it? 
uh, looks like it's it for us right here. So, yeah. This is Pikmin. We get an army of adorable Pikmin. <laughs> when many Pikmin seeds sprouted once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. Guess I'll try to find it all done by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. Notice that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. <laughs> Basically, if they're dismissed, they act as individuals. Unless there's a group task presented to them. And here's our engine! Okay. Amazing! There's no mistaking it, my ship's engine rests before my very eyes. If I struck a pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But how will I get it back to the dolphin? So for some things, you won't actually see the thing until you put some Pikmin on it. But as you can see, they give you more than enough. And they'll automatically bring it to your ship, too. They know the difference between your, uh, ship and your onion. I was talking about something earlier, but I figure I'll wait, and we'll talk about it on day two. So remember, we have 30 days to collect every single part. I don't remember how many parts there are. 30? There isn't any percent of this game. Oh, glorious! With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts of their search? It starts tomorrow. So, essentially, you will have, um... So the any percent of this game is really just getting... There's a certain amount of parts you have to get. Uh, they spe there are specific parts you have to get, and a minimum number of parts you have to get. If you can do both of those, you can just fly through to day 30, and then just end the day and you're fine, you're good to go. But, if you're missing anything like that, then it's just like, oh well, type of deal. So, one day since impact, I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin. I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons. Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Pocotate. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense force is visible on the surface below. As it holds the keys to my survival, I name it the Forest of Hope. I explore it tomorrow. So, they'll show you basically Pikmin you leave behind, Pikmin who die, how many Pikmin you've sprouted, and they kind of give you a nice little chart for it. They tell you how many days are left, how many parts remain. It does, like the way they uh, set it up, it sounds like, oh, you have to get every part. You do not have to get every part. You have to get certain parts. So like, for instance, this has one more part in it. This one has two, four, six, eight parts. Are we gonna get all eight parts? Maybe. We'll see. I Yes, we will. We'll get all 30 parts because I've beaten this game a lot. Granted, that was years ago, so I might not be as good as I used to, but we're gonna try hard. See, late game will become really important when we can start just pumping through things. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. 
Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy. So I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light below the onion and press A. So one thing that I can say that Nintendo does really well is uh, the way they explain things for new people. Uh, so, as you can see, when, um... Um... As you can see, there are, um... Like, when they showed new things... Uh, they go... Hold on. Another intriguing discovery! A local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar! When the Pikmin drink this delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This apparent Pikmin favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strengths and peculiarities of these flower Pikmin. But, um... What was I saying? We'll do our best to get everything, basically. So yes, as you can see, there are flower Pikmin and regular Pikmin. The difference between flower and regular Pikmin is that uh, flower Pikmin are faster and stronger. We like flower Pikmin. Uh, as you can see, we've got enemies. Almost oh, everyone's a flower Pikmin. Anyway, so... I truly do not remember what we were talking about, but that's okay. Um, so as you can see at the top bar, we've got, uh, a certain amount of time to beat each day. Um, a lot of the early stage is going to be us collecting easy parts and amassing our Pikmin, uh, stronghold. I will do my best to not lose Pikmin as best I can, but there's only so much I can do. <sighs> like, that's a big mama jama. Uh, so by the end of the day, we want to get over into that area. That is our goal. I think we can get... Yeah, we'll get that part. Minimum I want to do is get one part a day. I don't want to waste a day if I can help it. Unless we got, like, two or three parts in a day. Like, there will be days where we do, like, one thing, essentially. Bully enemies. So as you can see, there are different colored uh, pellets. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. We lost some Pikmin! No! Oh well. Don't worry about it. Uh, can I have one of these? Yeah, we may have lost, like, a Pikmin or two. Whatever. It happens. Just, just don't worry about it, okay? It happens. Okay, they're adorable, I know. We will avenge them. They shall be avenged! -ed. But, um... Yeah, there's, there's a lot to take in with this game. It is adorable, it's brutal, but it's mostly adorable. Alright, we still got four more, and then our army is ready to move on. Alright, one, two, trace, e, quattro. Cool. Thank you. 
Ugh, the camera on this kind of sucks. Fuel Dynamo! It has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. This will require 40. We do not have 40 on us, unfortunately. So, we'll throw a bunch of these right there. And help save some time. You guys are going to start doing this. I don't want that gate to go down without me over there, because those Pikmin might go and try to fight some people. They're kind of gung-ho at times. <laughs> they like to prove their worth. Number. Okay. Okay. And now watch us fly through this. The clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Cross the top of the monitor of the sun meter in the day display. In the bottom of my spacesuit damage meter and Pikmin gauges. On the left, these numbers reflect Pikmin under my command in the field and total of Pikmin, including those in onions. To adjust my monitor, I can press L to rotate the camera, R to zoom, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And also press Y, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, you can see we're already halfway through our... I call this our real first day. Oh well, it happens. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna leave them over there. We don't have use of them right now. They're doing what I need them to do. The red Pikmin are the uh, main forces of our army. <sighs> As you can tell, we now have yellow Pikmin! Yay! <laughs> the color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests that this one has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. Looks like it may weigh less than the others, and what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? No matter, they're quite obviously similar, so I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. So, um, as you saw, we've seen three different color, um, Pikmin foods. 
We've seen blue drop, we've seen red, and we've seen yellow. Ah, this should light things up. No more candles for me. I have now recovered 230 parts. If I can find just three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. So, as you get more parts, you can explore more areas. But, um, as I'm kind of alluding to, uh, the color food you, you, you give, uh, determines the quality of the, uh, Pikmin. Essentially, you want yellow Pikmin to have yellow food. You want red Pikmin to have red food. I think you get the picture. That's enough to pick this guy up. Now he needs ten. So which um onion the Pikmin will carry things to depends on the amount of Pikmin on it. So if I had four red and six yellow Pikmin on this big guy it would go to the uh, yellow Pikmin, because there are more Pikmin on that one. I have made yet another Pikmin-related discovery. Just when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the onion stopped expelling seeds. Yet, the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. Seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at any given time. That is very true. That is a very important distinction to make. So here's another important discovery. So we're going to learn something new here. Yellow Pikmin can carry bomb rocks. Yellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the Yellow Pikmin. But just what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly glowing cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicated that there are tremendous power locked away within. This merits further research. So, bombs are dangerous, as I'm sure you can imagine. The glowing rocks the old Pikmin picked up seem to be explosive stones. Perhaps they know that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them. But they should still be able to blast open the stone walls that block the pathways. I may even be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. I must be vigilant! Pikmin I dismiss by praising X by bring their bombs when I call them back. Pikmin I throw with A drop their bombs when I call them back. Keep clear of the explosion. When I touch Pikmin directly, they keep their bombs and fall in line. So, you have to be really careful with um, the Pikmin here with these. It is Tray importante that you don't uh, accidentally kill. getting into some iffy territories here. So, we do not want to leave Pikmin behind. I will not explain why. Let's hope we don't find out, but if we do, I'll explain it then.
Ah, my clock is indicating the approaching sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath the dolphin and onions will probably enter the onions on their own, but if I don't call the stragglers and add them to my group, they may not be able to get back. I am sure the Pikmin still planted are safe. I am somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. <laughs> Lost a fair few. Alright, that's all of them. It's unfortunate, because I wanted to try to get a little bit more done, but that's okay. Right. You're almost able to get a little bit more done, but that's okay. That's two days done, though. Do I have to throw them all in here? No. But will I? Yes. Oh boy. They might have gotten stuck out here. We may have just lost a bit of Pikmin. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. We did not lose any. Oh, two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. I can recover the parts of the radar. Uh, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances? Then I'd only have to press Y to locate my parts. Yet, there seem to be many hostile life forms here. If I am attacked and my spaceship takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make suit repairs. As they explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. We lost eight in battle. Oh, my poor Pikmin. I'm so sorry. But that is okay. But we do have a ton of Pikmin, though. Yay! All right, let's save right here. ba da da So, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that any enemy you kill stay gone for at least a day or two. So that is very bueno. And of course, coming back, um, any obstacles you've cleared and stuff uh, should remain away. That's also very good. Yeah, it takes several days for things to come back. So our goal for today, uh, we want to get several things today. First thing we want to get is this radar. Oh. You are... Damn it, you stupid. Oh well. So, bomb rocks. Fairly important to progressing in here. As you can see. But first, before we do that. 
So, yellow Pikmin. You can throw them farther because they are lighter. I need 20. With this, I'll be able to see all nearby ship parts in a single glance. Just press Y to check it. This fills me with great hope. Oh, good. So this one takes... triple the amount. So we need nine bombs to blow this up. It's four... See if he can find anything. I doubt he will, but so I brought the rest over here. There's our radar. Very important to get. I would have liked to have gotten it yesterday, but I just I focused a lot more on just getting more Pikmin. Uh, this important part can detect the locations of other missing parts. The radar will be added to my monitor, which I can press Y to view. Z zooms in and out. This will surely help me in the search for the remaining parts. Now I have three out of thirty. Excellent. These Pikmin have several actual uses as bombers. Obviously, one of them is to throw bombs. Another is this. I know it feels a bit harsh. But it's okay. This is what they, uh... This is what they've trained for. Radar. Now we can also see where all Pikmin are as well. So that's a small boss right here. We do not want to deal with it right now. Not as we are. We'll deal with it later. So one problem is we did not get enough uh, parts to blow up uh, that little shortcut right over there that we were working on, but that's okay. Uh, we'll deal with that later. What is this? It's the Extraordinary Bolt! I bought this incredible bolt because the salesman told me it is of extraordinary quality that is indiscernible to the average person. Exactly what makes it so extraordinary is a secret. That's just... But just look at it! Pretty sure, uh, our buddy here is a bit gullible. 
That's the extraordinary part. Okay. Looks like all of our Pikmin have been accounted for. there. Perfect. Uh, another boss up there. He's a pain in the ass. Yeah, having that shortcut right there would be super nice, but hey, nothing you can really do about it. We got two parts today, though, so that puts us ahead by one. And we're gonna work on another part. Actually, right now. Which I believe we should get. And no problem. So these things are just little, like, ghoul goblins. They're more of an annoyance than anything. <laughs> I call them ghoul, uh, ghoul goblins? Fucking, uh, sap goblins. Wahoo. It's like red got it. The bolt in the door of the wall. Extraordinary bolt. This bolt's bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. I have now recovered four out of thirty parts. If I can get just one more, I can go somewhere new. All right. Okay. So you may be asking, why are we doing this bridge? We can do nothing with it. Well, that is very true. But there is a cheeky method that I there's a cheeky method to my madness. It's just really slow going. Oh yeah. So we can't get that part. To do that we have to be really slow and cheeky. Is it really worth it? I don't know. Here's what you have to do. So Pikmin drown. Sometimes you can rescue them, sometimes you can't. I don't know what happened. Usually you can just carry them across the water. So I guess we cannot be cheeky. But whatever. We just got two in exchange for our one. My bad. I did not mean to kill him. I'm missing someone. Oh, he's in the ground. There we go. <sighs> what do we want to do then? I guess our best bet is... Yeah, I'm just trying not to, like, waste our time or anything. It's, it's really hard, you know? Trying to keep the same colors scheme is a good idea. Just because it just provides a better chance of you getting the like what you actually need. Alright. So, if I really wanted to, I could have just like walked through here. So we can't get over here because obviously, you know, water, our Pikmin will drown. 
So, there's another, uh, part. All the can kill things if he wants. Aha! I killed your baby! another way to get over here, but it takes quite a bit, so I'm just not going to bother. So... This is going to be a close one, but I think if I'm really smart about it, we should be fine. We might be able to get all that we want here. I found the Nova Blast. It emits a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything. I'm not exactly sure about this, but the promotional brochure claims that its blast can travel in the currents of space time, smashing through stars and into the rifts of space. Alright. Pretty sure this is all I need. I'll take care of that. You take care of that. Whatever. Okay. The scary thing. Damn it. guys there is fine. Damn it, they're going the long way. Oh boy. This is going to be really iffy. <sighs> Shit. We're gonna have to... Oh god. Oh god! No! Stupid! Uh-oh. The only stupid here is me! Uh-oh. 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 Um, say goodbye to a large portion of our army. <laughs> yeah, we lost about half of our army there. I got greedy. Oh boy. I'm so sorry, Big Man. I am sorry. They got it. Oh no. Three days since impact. I now add yellow pigment to my list of discoveries. These creatures can yield bomb rocks, so perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new regions. Red and yellow pigment, as well as bomb car bomb rock carriers, break into squads when dismissed with X, or when I grab one for the moment by holding A. We left behind 25! Oh no! I'm so sorry! Oh man. To our comrades at arms, I apologize. But even though this was not an hour, that is all we have for uh, this week. This is this was an introduction, and next week's gonna be even better. So, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and we'll pick up again here next time. So, until then, everybody, stay funky people.